I'll just draw one line like so to start and give it some width. We'll go back like so. We also have a handle, All right? Just basic geometry here, some sort of handle, and there's a body, all right? Now, this is not the width of the body, but I do want to at least set up some basic geometry for how I want to do this sketch. And just as a companion to fill out the page, I'll start by, ooh, that would be interesting if these two mirrored each other like the shape of the handle. But just some orthographic sketching here to kind of round out the page. So what I mean is, you know, they have teeth, but these teeth are offset from each other. But I can just keep this sketch as kind of a little reference thing on the page here. All right, so maybe the handle here, like I was saying, kind of, I'm drawing circles in the corners because I wanna give this some volume. Okay, so now you can see there is some volume here. Let's go ahead and curve this top handle. Now I didn't connect this circle to that line because This would be obscured. I talked about the TP, Taurus Principle, um, a few videos back where we were drawing like a donut. And so the idea there is to draw your ellipses, but be respectful of the limits of what you can see. All right. All right, so maybe this is our little area where this trimmer portion is connected and we'll go ahead and bring this back like so and let's just add a nice round element here to our main body now like I was saying you know this thing probably has a motor of some sort um, so I need to make room for that so on the bottom I'm gonna make this a little bit wider like so but I like the idea that um, again all of this form stuff kind of relates to each other. So let's see what we can come up with. The thin profile is kind of nice. Maybe it is battery powered. So let's go ahead and chop this a little bit. In other words, reducing the height of this portion. Okay, a little surface transition there. Perhaps this is some sort of exhaust for this motor as it articulates and needs to push air out. Okay, so just sketch that in. Surface transition, a little bit of a fillet. All right. And like I was saying, maybe there is some battery component here. this whole thing is a battery. Maybe. I don't know. The Leaf Trimmer Design Association of America does not approve. But that's okay. We've been mortal, mortal en enemies for 10 years now. Alright, so maybe this is the battery. Hopefully you guys picked up on that joke, but... <laughs> the thing with jokes is if you have to explain them, they're not funny anymore, you know? Alright. So maybe that's the battery. Got a little recess for release there. So now let's do the trimmer portion, right? As we move in perspective. And just gotta do a quick check here on my form. So now I'm gonna create two layers, all right? Just like so, we've got a layer on the top. A little bit of line weight, help this thing feel like it's going inside. And now let's do some blades, the fun part. All right, so we've got these blades. 
And I can't tell if if they are... I'm just gonna hint at it because I haven't actually studied the mechanical makeup of this. If you need a guide, you can always just draw a line like that and draw another line like that. It'll all go away once we add color and stuff. Um, but yeah, I can't I can't I can't really tell if these overlap each other or what's happening. So I'm just gonna hint at the shape or the form. It's also one of those things in a product that I would likely be doing in CAD if I were designing these um, for a living, for example. Yeah, they do look like they're offset just a little bit, looking at some of these blades. Let's see. Let me just change the settings here so I can get a large version of this to look at. Oh yeah, so it looks like we have these blades that move back and forth. I'm gonna actually cut the cut the uh, edge off those right there. And I can just throw some lines, some little markers down, and then draw these back like so. Keep it loose, hold your pen pretty far back and up the barrel. And then it looks like there's another layer to these looking at the tool so since there's another layer I'm just gonna hint at the layer without committing to drawing the full layer all right so the second line next to it make it a little darker right there and if you're careful about where you place those dark lines you can create that effect that you're after and similar to the mountain bike sketch if there was a need for you to design the individual blades you could do that, you just have to draw a lot bigger to show that blade. This is Sketch Day Live, thanks for joining. This is our last sketch on this beautiful, beautiful Friday. I'm gonna get some hammock time after this stream, recover, rest, spend time with the kids. We're gonna play Minecraft today. We are building our own little world, and it's funny, they're, uh, they're the ones who want to go fight, you know, all the little creatures, creepers, all that stuff. If any of you play Minecraft, um, I'm just like, I just want to build stuff. So I'm going to hang out back here at the quote unquote house and build things. It's pretty funny. But they really love to play. Maybe we'll make this one or keep it abbreviated, meaning focusing on line work, kind of like we did with the front end loader. But we'll finish it up super quick here with just some quick markers and so on. All right, we also have some screws on this blade. Looks like to help with replacement, something like that. So I'm just gonna place a couple screws or rivets or something right there. A little bit of a shadow. All right, so here's another example of creating flow in the design. So I have this round area right here where the handle, okay, meets up with the body, right? And so in three dimensions, I could, if I were modeling this in CAD, you know, this is an area that visually just looks really interesting and I would love to just dig in and figure out what's going on. Um, but I was talking about resolution of forms and shapes and elements, and that's an example of where I know I have this circular portion, and I wanna bring that back, wrap it down, and then have it wrap into a fillet around on the bottom of this whole thing. Because in my mind, it, it seems, seems cool anyways. <laughs> like that's what, uh, that's what the design should be. All right, this is Sketch Day Live. We're wrapping up with our hedge trimmer here. I'm just trying to cast a shadow on this, okay? So the handle is casting a shadow down, the body, right, is casting a shadow, and all these teeth are casting a shadow. Maybe, I, maybe I'll regret this, we'll see.
But we just need to capture the outline, so... Not a huge deal. We can kind of fudge it a little bit, too, if need be. Thanks for being a, being a part of this. I can't say it enough. Um, I was telling a friend, you know, back in September, left my old job, and I've been doing this full-time. So I know these are tough times for everyone. Hell of a time to <laughs> leave your job and do something new, but didn't really see a lot of this coming. But um, I do appreciate the donations, contributions, support, attention, uh, feedback, comments, all of it, really. So thank you. And uh, hopefully, I hope, rather, you're enjoying the show. Like and subscribe, all that good stuff. All right. So colors, I'm going to go with orange for most of the body, maybe some gray here, gray for this portion, of course, and just to make it fun, we'll do chrome and we'll do a shadow. All right, so let's start with the orange body. <clears throat> I guess we did, no, we did an orange sharpener, so let's do green. That's what we'll do. And this gives me a chance to try out my new green chart packs that I got, so this will be fun. Give me just a sec, guys. I'll check back into the stream here or the chat. Just have to grab these markers. All right, so I've got, well, these are kind of drab. <laughs> I need like a bright green. Mm, it's not too bad. I'll see if I can find another bright green here. But we are definitely gonna use green. I may start with, oh no, here it is. Ha, <laughs> it was in my marker stand. I was trying to find it. I just need to get in the habit of using those more. Okay, so green, let's go. Home stretch. <laughs> David says, measure once, get more wood, exactly. When I do marker, I like to do the outline first whatever area I'm shading in. I'll make the battery gray. These are chart pack ad markers. I also did a review of these on the channel. Thanks again to Chad Sanborn for funding these markers. Maybe we should call this trimmer the Chad. Lynette, is there a reason I have multiple marker brands? She says, I mean, I get the Copic and Ohuhu. Is it Copic and Ohuhu? No, Ohuhu and Bianyo and Copics. Um, no, my, my affinity, love, and obsession with markers has nothing to do with practicality. So I just, <laughs> if I, yeah, I, I should probably start like another Insta or social media thing that's just called Marker Freak because that's me and just review markers because I have a problem. I really do. Well, not a problem. It's it's a love. Certainly a love for markers. So sketch day live. We're wrapping up with our final sketch, a leaf trimmer. I forgot who suggested it, but thank you. I really should put a disclaimer on my YouTube and everything I do that says, warning, terrible memory, because that is me. Terrible, terrible. Terrible, just terrible. All right. Whatever happened to Charles Barkley? I haven't seen him in forever. All right, leaving a little white spot there for highlight. So shade in the outline, like I said, but leaving a little bit of room for highlights. So 
So watch out for all the recaps. Um, I'm just doing two more live show recaps and then I think there'll be enough recaps on the side, but I will be uploading the Wednesday show recap, today's, Sunday and so forth. And then I'm going to, during the week, cover some nuts and bolts. Hopefully you guys enjoy that. Also, oh, thank you, Matthew. I was going to say Matthew, but then I was like, what if I say the wrong name, you know? Maybe I should just go for it next time. Okay, so the teeth. Let's get these in. Shadows. I'm going to do chrome. For the housing, anyways. So let's grab some black. I wonder, I mean, if this is, let's see black necessarily, I would see this reflected in. Let me think about this one. Okay, insulin's reflection. Actually, this is flat. If it is outdoors, we would get the reflection of trees and sky in this. So I wonder if I should try that. I'm nervous, guys. I'm really nervous. Because if I do tree, leaves, and stuff, and sky, then I ha kind of have to do it here, and yeah. I'm gonna ignore that, and we'll just do a crisp, <laughs> crisp chrome. So ignore my ramble, rambling. Lynette's asking if I have a musical background of some sort. I mean, I've always loved singing, um, playing instruments. I've directed choirs before. Um, I have tried out for American Idol as well. That's, that's a fact. No, I will not be singing on the stream. So don't even ask. Just taking this brush pen to introduce some nice dark elements here. Okay, so now this feels more like it could be chrome. And if I take a nice light blue, for example, let's see how light this is. And then just hit it. Now we have some blue and the black to kind of help this feel more chrome. Hit these teeth as well. Just real light. You know, maybe, maybe they're reflecting up. All right, uh, I need a gray. I need a um, it's actually something I, well, before the world is ending, I would love to do karaoke all the time. So that's another thing I enjoy. My kids are a little musical too. Um, kind of just runs in the family. Um, one of my family members, I won't say who, but one of my family members uh, is also super t talented and part of a famous choir for a while. So I guess we all kind of kind of had that, have that. All right, just working on these fins a little bit here. We'll use the white as well to help us out. Raushan, I am not drawing a card today, but come back to the stream on Sunday and feel free to make a suggestion. We'll see, we'll see uh, how things go. All right, we're just wrapping up. Just a reminder too, if I didn't get to something in the stream, you can always, Watch the replay, there'll be segments, but also you can. This is a neon yellow paint marker that I got as well. Um, but yeah, catch the replay. I figured this one would be fun for, fun for like highlights. Yeah, where I don't want the highlight to be white necessarily. 
you know, I can come back and use the white if I need to, but that's just gonna help pop and pull things out. Also have this green if I need it. I forgot to shake the ink. That was what was weird about that. Um, let's see, the white. Musical live stream. <laughs> That'll be fun. Do you play anything, Matthew? So as a um, perk, on Sunday, I'll be doing the Patreon pre-show. Say that 10 times fast. And that'll be me hanging out with you guys and at least the ones on Patreon. And you have an opportunity to get ahead of everyone, so to speak, and make suggestions. So I'll be setting that up. Patreon pre-show. So if you want to be a Patreon, go sign up. You'll get to be, like I said, head of the pack. Get your suggestion in. Another little paint marker here just to get some lights on this battery indicator right there. And I do want to enhance the contrast in this uh, arm, like support arm, but to do that I'm going to use a pencil because I want the texture. So let me grab a black pencil here. Perfect, this is a Prismacolor Premier. And now just laying the pencil down, I can hit this arm and just shade in the middle so that we have some light and shadow where we need it. Just like that. Thanks so much for the suggestions, guys. We'll do a recap in just a sec when I finish up here. Show you all the cool stuff we did. If you want to see the process for those things, definitely catch the recap videos. Or just watch the stream again. I mean, it's a big commitment, right? I think everyone's over Tiger King, though, so I should be good to go. Your schedule's been freed up. If you haven't seen Tiger King, don't worry about it. Just just watch Sketch Today. That's all I'm saying. I also play a little guitar, but not enough that I would feel comfortable streaming to all of you uh, <laughs> playing guitar. So that's also not going to happen. A little texture here on the battery. And I guess the battery needs probably some sort of release. Maybe. It's starting to feel like a fest tool. If I added some navy blue to it, <clears throat> then it would become, that's a certain brand of power tool, but it has this similar geometric shape approach and all of that. All right, so now let's get this shadow in on the bottom and we should be good to go. I'm just using a basic gray two to chart pack. like that guys uh, don't want to mess up too bad here all right Woo! we made it we made it to the end thank you thank you so much for the suggestions I do need to pop this just a little bit the shadow you know value wise if I squint my eyes it's not really popping enough so I'm gonna take my brush marker here and work on the outline and then we'll call it good
So I hope you can see what this is doing to help lift, so to speak, a sketch from the page. I don't want to lose those details though, which I think I <laughs> went ahead and, and painted over with this brush pen, but here just having this darker line on the outside should make the sketch feel more like it's popping. All right, there we go. So now that feels a little bit more separated from the background. I can even add white to the perimeter if I want, just as a kind of reflected light happening. Maybe just a small arrow indicating which way to slide that battery. As for how you turn this thing on, I have no idea. <laughs> Maybe the controls are on the back side, right? Totally possible, totally a thing. Um, you don't always have to shade in your background with a color. Sometimes you can just take a gray marker and just hit the outside of the background like that. And now the background is essentially separated from the main paper and we can use that to um, just help things pop off the page. All right, guys. Well, I'm feeling pretty spent. I don't know about you and how you're doing, but let's review 